to my channel, welcome back to a brand new video. Today I am doing a bit of a change up from a typical Sunday upload which is usually a vlog style video as I'm sure you regular watchers are aware but I have previously this week been into Zara and did like a vlog style video so I thought I would leave that linked and do this video now because it's relevant to that video. So. If you didn't see it, go ahead and watch that first, and if you did, then you'll have seen that I went in, didn't buy anything in store, but did decide to put in an online order, of which it has now arrived, so I wanted to share with you everything that I've picked up. I actually have two boxes. I have this big box here, and I also have a homeware box. So we have lots of fun, exciting things to unbox, but before we go ahead and do that, make sure you are subscribed if you're not already and also make sure you are set and comfortable and relaxed with your nice cozy hot drink, snacks, light candles. If you guys have just clicked on this video as soon as it's gone live then it is a Sunday so I hope you have a lovely day and I hope you enjoy the rest of your weekend. Without further ado I feel like we should just get started with the homeware things first because at the minute homeware just excites me greatly. I feel like 2020 is going to be the year that we move house, that we buy our first house together, which is going to be so exciting. We're not going to be looking for another couple of months yet, but then when we do, I'm going to bring you guys along with me on that journey and do lots of updates over on Freya Farrington Home on Instagram, if you're not already following. I do have my regular one, Freya Farrington One, for fashion and daily posts and things like that. But for all the homeware side of things, be sure to head over to Freya Farrington Home on Instagram if you are interested in that kind of thing. And if you are, you'll probably like this first box because Zara Home is one of my favorite homeware stores. I feel like White Company tops it. White Company is like my all time favorite homeware shop. But a second to that is probably H&M Home and Zara Home. So I'm very excited to receive this parcel. It did actually like come like this which was a bit worrying. This kind of part wasn't properly closed, but I've had a sneak peek and everything is intact. So thank the Lord, because that wouldn't have been very fun to unbox. Ah! Okay, I love the aesthetic of Zara Home so much. So I'm just gonna jump straight in and show you the first item which I picked up, which is this. This is a set of eight tea lights from Zara Home obviously. They retail for $5.99, they do have different scents available. I like the idea of black vanilla and I actually have bought something in here which I needed tea lights for so I thought it'd be quite nice to try out the Zara tea lights, see how I get on with them because at $5.99 they're a good price point in comparison to the higher end brands like White Company that I love. I also love Jo Malone, I've got my two Jo Malone candles currently burning. They were Christmas editions in pine and eucalyptus and they smell insane. I actually am hoping that they continue stocking these because, oh my god, they're amazing. Okay, I feel like it just kind of eases nicely into the next one if I show you the item that I bought the tea lights for. So, it did come in this little cardboard box. Love the packaging, love the fact that there's uh, minimal sort of plastic and... You know, they're good with their packaging, it's all recyclable. Okay, so this item did actually come with a little tea light in it, but it's kind of cheap looking, and yeah, that's all I'm gonna say about that. That could be one to use in an oil burner maybe, where you don't actually see the tea light, because in this, you're actually going to see the tea light. So, this is the item. I believe they have two sizes available. This is the one at $5.99, and um, I can take that Zara label off when I get it in use but I thought this would be quite nice maybe on top of a coffee table book or you know like as a bit of a feature homeware decorative piece and you pop the tea light in there I just love this I think it's super unique minimal chic love the kind of glass white as you guys know I'm very neutral in my decor and I thought $5.99 for like a designer kind of looking piece was really reasonable. Okay, the next item, I'm really intrigued to give these a try. I have never tried them before, um, at least the Zara Home ones anyway. They are in the scent White Jasmine and they are scented cards. So there is a pack of three, I believe, yeah, three piece. So this is just one, for example. Let me just show you a bit closer up. 
So this is what the packaging looks like and you take out the centre card and you can put it in your wardrobe, in your drawers, in a small box room or a closet, some kind of cupboard or anything like that, any kind of drawer and they keep the space smelling fresh. So I've tried the Primark ones before at £1.50 and I'm not going to lie, they fade pretty quickly. So although they smell lovely the first couple of days you get it out, after that it does kind of quite rapidly decrease in scent. So they do work and they're only £1.50, they're a budget alternative, however I'm intrigued to give these ones a try and hope that they last a lot longer because this was £11.99 for a pack of Three. Okay, if you missed it, I recently did a huge kitchen clear out, overhaul, declutter, reorganise storage solution video. <sighs> that was a mouthful. There was a deep clean in there too. For my kitchen, I saw these and thought they'd be a nice addition. So it is a set of two, although they do have another set where you get three bags and they're food bags. So this is what it looks like. It's a mesh bag and on the front there you can uh, label it up to whatever you want. I think it's quite a nice storage solution that makes it look aesthetically pleasing. And in this set you get two different sizes and this retails for $7.99. I can't remember how much the three bag one. I think it was $9.99 but don't hold me to that. I'll try and link all of these items that I show you in this video below. Also to go in our kitchen I needed some kind of a clip or you know like a clip for like if you've got an open bag of crisps or something like that that you need to close shut temporarily. I saw these. They are a white lacquer kind of material in different sizes and I just love the look of these. They were kind of pricey for what they are, but I do really like the aesthetic of them. They look nice. So this was $11.99 for the set of three, but they are very well made. I do really like the look of them. I'm happy with this purchase. Another item at $11.99 is this. And this is again from Zara Home. We're still in the Zara Home box. We've only got one more thing after this though. Um, but this is a car air freshener, which if you saw my vlogs over Christmas, my mum and dad actually got me for Christmas a um, car fresher stick from Rituals, which I love. I love Rituals so much. But I thought I would stockpile, keep this away for when that runs out because I really like the idea of having a fancier car air freshener. So yeah, $11.99 for this one and it's again in the scent White Jasmine. They did have other scents available. Okay, the last item in this box is a monthly planner. So this is 9 99 and they do have a weekly planner as well, but I had a look at both of them and I think the monthly planner looks a little nicer. See, this will look quite nice just on the desk, out as like a desk planner, you know, under your laptop. Uh, so, yeah, each page has one of these, like, you can rip it off, it's super easy to use. I actually used to use one of these in my old job. Uh, when I worked in an office and I found them really handy so having an at-home office space is nice and I feel like having these little touches just oh, I just love stationery so that is what the monthly planner looks like okay now on to the clothing I did pick up a couple of staples a couple of basics a couple of sale items a couple of new collection items okay I'm gonna have to show you this one first it's lying on the top and it was so affordable. It was $3.99. I did get it in a large so that must have just been because they only had large available. From $15.99 originally. It's a kind of halter neck style top. Slightly racer back in this beautiful sand colour and it's like a suede kind of material. I feel like this might be a bit too big for me. It would have been so nice had this have been in my size but I'm going to try and w make it work for $3.99. I want to but if it does look you know, stupidly big, then I will send it back. I did get some loungewear, which I have recently spotted in Zara. I do really rate their loungewear. The top was $17.99. This is what it looks like in this beautiful cream colour. Just a very basic sweater, slightly cropped. And then this is the matching jogger pant to the top. So the bottoms were $19.99, I got them in a medium and in the top I picked it up in a medium as well. I'm hoping that I'm going to love this and it'll fit because it feels incredibly soft. 
One thing I did mention in my Zara video on Wednesday was some nude leather leggings that they had in store. At 19.99, I fell in love with them, but they didn't have my size. They had an extra small, I think they had an extra large and an extra, extra large. So I couldn't fit into any of them and I wanted to get home, order them online. And I've realized that I've ordered the wrong pair. I am gonna go back online and see if I can find the ones that I found in store with the buttons. So I've realized these have arrived and there's no button details. I have a funny feeling that these might not be the perfect fit. They don't look quite as high-waisted as what the other ones did. I picked these up in a medium, 19.99 again. There's not too much stretch to them. We'll see how I go on the fit of these. Okay, another absolute steal that I found are these black satin cargo style trousers. These were $5.99. How can you get a pair of Zara trousers for $5.99? I do not know. Hopefully I like the style and the fit and how they look on me, but I do like the fact that they're super high-waisted, kind of paper bag style ever so slightly. The cargo with the big pocket detail, the satin, the cuffed bottom, I mean off, I love the look of these. I love the black elastic waistband as well. I did get them in a small, typically I'm usually a medium in Zara, but sometimes I'm a small, sometimes I'm a large, sometimes it's hard to tell with Zara sometimes. Another pair of trousers at just $5.99 in this sale are these. They are sand colored, which is beautiful. I love this sand kind of color. The material of this, so soft, really, really nice. Um, okay, so they class these as the baggy trousers, baggy trousers. So because of that, I did get a small and hoping that they're gonna fit. $25.99, these ones were full price. $5.99 is an absolute steal. Okay, so we'll see how the leg length fares on them. They look like they're gonna be a bit trend and I have no idea how they're gonna look on me. Hopefully, I'm gonna like them because they're a bargain, they feel amazing. We'll see how I like them once they're on. And don't forget to let me know what your thoughts are on these items and which ones you think I should keep or which ones you think I should return. Okay, the last pair of sale trouser items at, again, 5 dollars are these. So I love a bit of khaki, I'm a big fan. I feel like khaki is a really nice color for most skin tones and hair color types and everything. So. Kirky's a fave colour of mine. Um, it's again like a cargo style. It is a typical what you'd imagine cargo pant material to be. So this is what they look like. They've got little pocket details on the back, nice ruched waist, uh, belt loops if you did want to put a belt with it, in a medium. We'll see how these fit. I feel like they might be a little bit big on the waist, but we'll see. Full price, these ones were $29.99. Okay, now onto the new in items. I found the range, the contour range on Zara and fell in love. Sadly, they were out of stock in a lot of items or in popular sizes, so I got the items that I could and some of them I sized up to a medium slash L, M slash L as opposed to a extra small slash small, which is annoying because I would say that I'm a small slash medium and they only had the two extremes. So we'll see how they fit and how they look like on. But yeah, this is part of the contour range. So the first item that I got are these leggings. $15.99, medium to large this one. So they will be nice and stretchy, I hope, because they look pretty small. <laughs> but they're a gorgeous thick rib fabric. I think I'm gonna love these. I hope I do. $15.99 is a pretty good price as well if I find a good basic in these. Okay, then I picked up this one at $12.99, again in a medium to large. Look at the labeling. Limitless Contour Collection, it's called. You can see there. Um, so yeah, medium to large, and again, I think I'll be fine in a medium to large because look how tiny this looks. I feel like these are gonna be one of those sizes that it's more or less a one size type item. Uh, so yes, this is the next item. It is a cropped nude, really nice nude as well. It's a nice brownie tan nude, um, long sleeved, basic. This next one I think I'm gonna love because I'm a big fan of bodysuits at the minute. And this one, again, in the medium to large, I got at 12.99. I just wish they had more of these uh, because 
oh, I feel like I'm gonna love them. And I, it's the sort of thing that I would pick up in black, grey, white, khaki, nude. You know, one of those things that once you get one item, you might as well have it in all colours. I feel like this might be that kind of an item. So they're not thong bodysuits and they don't have poppers so it's going to be one of those you have to get naked in the toilet to be able to go to the toilet. I'd say they're more cheeky as opposed to like a full brief. Um, gorgeous thick rib fabric again really impressed the, with the quality of these. So at £12.99 if I find a good basic in this it's something that I'm going to be getting a lot of wear out of. Okay the last item that I got is again part of the contour range and it is this black crop top. It's not drastically cropped it's slightly longer than what a bra style top would be in this fabric so nice with like high-waisted jeans maybe maybe some of the pants the satin cargo black pants would be quite nice to wear this with it i did again pick it up in a medium to large and this one was 7.99 but before i just close off this video i did actually want to compare this top to two that i recently got from primark in a black and white so they've not got the double strap detail but they have uh, the same sort of thick ribbed fabric and they're actually double lined the other one isn't the Zara one isn't um, so this is definitely more supportive the Primark ones so I did pick one up in black and one in white it's not quite as long as the Zara ones are or well, Zara one is I should say grammar um, as you can tell just do a side by side there uh, so this is definitely more bralette style or bra style as opposed to a top. There will be more midriff on show if you were to just wear this with just jeans. So I'd probably wear these more as a layering piece but I wanted to point these out because they are really good quality and they're only £3. Heads up there, keep your eyes peeled in Primark for these because they, I think, are a really, really good find. So that is everything that I picked up from Zara. Stay tuned for next week where I'll be back to vlogging on my Sundays. Let me know what you did think of this video by giving it a thumbs up and commenting down below. I hope you all have a lovely rest of the day and I hope to see you all in my next video. Bye guys!